The front straightaway sent him off. Back straightaway, it's up to you. It's time to get on your feet, wave to these drivers, and let them know how much you appreciate them coming out and putting on a show. As the caution lights are down, Ben, we are ready to go. 50 times around the Parts Plus Interna Riverside International Speedway green flag. Boyette with the whole shot. Roller almost spun it out as they go off into one and two. Boyette, your leader, Roller in second. As they move down the back straightaway, Seth Bergman now going to go after Roller. They go into turns three and four. Bergman going to the high side now, peaks down to the middle, but it's going to be Loyette, your race leader. Loyette, your leader. Then it's the five of Roller in the second spot. Oh, Roller bicycles in one and two. He keeps it together. It's it's going to be the 23 of Bergman in third. As Bergman right now sitting in third roller, they'll doing a fantastic job of holding on to that race car. Is the 40 now going to throw his name into the mix? That is going to be Eric Ainsworth. And the number 20 car of Joey Mohan spins it around down in turn number four. And we've seen the first caution as Springfield, Illinois. Joey Mohan brings out the caution now with just one down officially, one down, 49 to go. You see the cone on the front straightaway, cannot pass before they get to that cone as we look for the number five, 05 of Loyette and that Maxim race car to get back on the loud pedal with 49 laps remaining in the fourth annual Rock and Roll 50. They work off a of turn number four. Brad Loyette picks up the pace. They work down the front straightaway. Everybody right now going to fan out into turns one and two. Loyette out front and in command as we've got one upside down. Look out. It is a 13 of Tidmore. Tristan Tidmore gets hard into the wall. Anthony Nicholson with nowhere to go gets into Tristan Tidmore. That was hard contact for that youngster. It looked like that car just went head on into the wall off into one and two. Letting it get away from him as now we wait for word from race officials on the condition of our driver. And again, the 16 with nowhere to go. But Anthony Nicholson doing a great job. Again, that thing woed up and using that big soft right rear to be able to kind of cushion against that top wing. Well, that'll be the red flag right there. Still stuck on a lap number one. And we'll wait and get a word on Tidmore. Looks like Tidmore is up there walking around at the top of the corner down in one and two. So that's good news. That was a pretty solid hit for that young man. I mean, and really, what a heartbreak to be running up in the top five this early in the race and have a shot at getting up and racing with the leaders and to see his night end like this. But still, the safety equipment and everything that these drivers spend so much money on, everything holding together, the chassis custom built, custom made, everything done with care, the Hans device, five-point seat harnesses, so Butler built safety seats, everything these drivers do to stay safe in these race cars. And well, it gets a good jump. He's got Roller following him off into turns one and two. Ainsworth working the low side. He'll stay in fourth. Gary Taylor in fifth. Gary Taylor going to go after Ainsworth again as they work into turns three and four. Now as let's throw Terry Gray into the mix. We'll make it a three-car battle. Terry Gray down to the inside line. Turn three and four getting extremely slick, and you're starting to see a lot of slide jobs. Loyette and Roller this time not letting Loyette get away from him. Two car lengths separate him at the flag stand. Brad Loyette leading as they work down the front straightaway. Roller down to the inside line. The side-by-side -side battle for the race lead here. We go down the back straightaway. Contact. Loyette and Roller. Left, rear to right, front. Everybody continues on. Two talented young drivers going out into the front of the pack. Another talented youngster, Seth Bergman, right there behind him. As business is picking up, Chris Williams and Terry Gray side by side for sixth. Four in, 46 to go. Four laps in, 46 laps remain, and it's a side-by-side -side battle in the back straightway. Terry Gray up on the high side and 10 is, oh my, the 8X gets it sideways, gathers it back up, though. Wow, what a save. And I'm telling you, Brian, it is getting slick down in three and four, and now lap traffic becoming a reality. Only a half a straightaway in front of your leaders as we complete lap number six. Looking further back in the field, drivers that had to make their way in and have a B main, the 77X of Wayne Johnson. Now, him and Gary Wright trying to make their way up through the running order, as is Brady Bacon and Jay Jason Johnson, as they all run towards the back of the field, your leader starting to run them down. Two and three battles back in the field. Meanwhile, Brad Loyette is looking at the 16 of Nicholson. He'll catch him off into three and four as they come around to complete lap number eight. Loyette right there, lap traffic right in front of him. The battle for second, though, a good one is Roller trying to hold off the 23 of Seth Bergman. Bergman in the Peterson Motorsports 23 down to the inside line. Roller, though, able to hold on to the runner-up spot. Brad Loyette with a half a straightaway advantage, but he is facing heavy lap traffic, and now Bergman is all over Roller as he'll take second off into turns one and two. Down to the inside line, your race leader trying to put the 16, a lap down to competition. Anthony Nicholson right now holding up your race leader, and that's going to allow Seth Bergman to start to close in. 
Now it's Roller back into second. Now Bergman looks ahead. Great battle for the second spot. Side by side. Off turn number two. Give the spot to Bergman. Joey Mohan will go a lap down to competition as they work through turns three and four. Brad Loyette again stuck behind the 16 of Anthony Nicholson as the battle for second continues on. Seth Bergman going to use a lap. Car as a pick. We are only 11 laps in and brake pads are already glowing red around this oval as Loyette goes to work on Anthony Nicholson working the low side. Bergman trying to reel in your leader now. Count it, 12 laps down, 38 to go. It's going to be Brad at your race leader, Seth Bergman, Jared Roller. Then it's going to be Cody Gardner, Gary Taylor. Right now, your top five as your leader this time. Going to work down to the bottom of turns three and four. Still not able to get around Nicholson. How about Cody Gardner? He is going to take third away from the five-car roller. Cody Gardner started back in 12th as that driver is on the move. One driver definitely on the move. As Gardner able to move up into third down the back straightaway, now going to try to run down Seth Bergman to battle for second, and Bergman is within about four car lengths of your race leader down the back straightaway. Joey Mohan calls it a night. He pulls it to the infield. Cody Gardner is catching your leaders in a hurry as Bergman is really making up ground on Brad Loyette now with 15 laps down. And Loyette will have the 81 of Danny Wood in front of him as that's the next car in danger going a lap down to competition as we will have 35 laps to go in this 50-lap feature event. Brad Loyette down the front straightaway, about a half a straightaway till he finds more lap traffic. Bergman right there. Bergman is making a major ground and Gardner's catching both of them quickly as right now Loyette trying to find a way around Danny Wood. He works the high to middle part of the track. A lot of wheel spin off turn four and new leader off into one and two, Seth Bergman. As they work down the back straightaway, now it's going to be Loyette back up to the top spot. Brad Loyette going to fight back into the race lead. He'll steal away from Seth Bergman. Bergman, though, going to diamond turns three and four down to the bottom of the drag race into turns one and two. Loyette by half a car length at the flag stand. 18 laps down, 32 to go. Now Cody Gardner has caught both of those drivers. Three car battle. What a show at the front of the field. Cody Gardner, Seth Bergman both going after Brad Loyette. Loyette cooking the right rear off of turn number four. Don't look now, but Gary Taylor has joined the party, and it's a four car our dog fight for the lead down the back straightaway. Perfect. Driver bicycling over in turns one and two, able to hold on to it. That was the 39. Brad Bowden able to hold on to that race car. As meanwhile, Loyette with a great restart, and he is driving away from the pack right now. On open racetrack, Brad Loyette absolutely walks the dog on these guys. Seth Bergman still running at second, and it's going to be the 1G, the 1X, and the 5 right now running out your top five. Back in the pack, two and three wide, but your top five cars pulling it out on the field. Now Loyette stumbles a little bit through three and four, and Bergman cuts his lead in half. Cody Gardner right up against the cushion through turns three and four. He has got that thing way up there as we come to the halfway. Point 25 in, 25 to go. It'll be 26 down out of turn number four. Cody Gardner flirting with disaster on the high side, and now he is reeling in Seth Bergman as Loyette has stretched it back out on Bergman to a half a straightaway advantage. Gary Taylor running middle to bottom of the racetrack through turns one and two. Now he'll go to the high side to turns three and four. The 2-1 cars right up against that outside wall, but it is <laughs> Cody Gardner, the one flirting with disaster. Now Gary Taylor down to the inside trying to till away third. And now lab traffic stares Brad Loyette in the face once again as they are on the same straightaway. Cody Gardner reeling in Bergman, and he's bringing Gary Taylor with him. Great battle for second. Jared Roller in the five right now, about a half a straightaway behind this really good, good battle for third. The one still going at it. It's going to be Gardner and Taylor. Taylor sealing away. Jared Rollers continues to hold down the fifth spot as Gary Taylor up to third. Cody Gardner back to fourth, and now lab traffic. Brad Loyette would love to see a caution right now as we've got 30 laps in the books. Right now, 20 laps remain. 30 in, 20 to go. Brad Loyette, still your race leader. Seth Bergman, then it's going to be Gary Taylor. Cody Garner, then it's going to be Jared Roller, still your top five. Terry Gray right now going to run in six, but look who's up to seventh. It's going to be Wayne Johnson. Johnny Herrera going to sit in eighth. Ninth right now is going to belong to the 16. No, excuse me, they kept the 41 of Jason Johnson. Then it's going to be the 87X of Justin Carver right now running out your top 10. Brad Loyette working on Logan Forler, and that's allowed Bergman to close in on him. Now only a three-car length advantage for Loyette as Seth Bergman right there with him as they work off into turn number three. Next driver in danger going to lap down to competition will be the 5H of Logan Forler. Forler at a Lake Havasu City, Arizona. He's got the 39 right in front of him. Those two going to battle for position. That's going to be Bowden as here comes your leaders. You can throw a blanket over the top three. It's the number five car, Loyette. It's Bergman, and then it's Gary Taylor. Very interesting grooves off turn number four, and now they're nose to tail for the lead. Loyette all the way around the bottom of the racetrack. Bergman, diamond in the corner, and Gary Taylor following the 23 as they're still within a 
about three car lengths of each other as they work through turns three and four. The battle for second. Taylor goes after it. Can't get it done. Bergman now after your race leader to the inside of the 05. Boy, it may be a sitting duck in that lead as right now he is does not know what's going on behind him and they are running all over the racetrack. Now he looks to the inside of Logan Forward. Cannot clear that five car and here comes Bergman. It's side by side into one and two for the lead. Seth Bergman going for the race lead. He'll get held by lap traffic this time. Brad Loy, yep, back to the top spot and he's going to clear the 5H of Logan Forler into three and four. Forler though, going to battle back with your race leaders as Seth Bergman back into the race lead. And now it's going to be Brad Loyette back to the lead through turns one and two. And it's Bergman in second. In the third spot, it's Gary Taylor. What a battle for the top spot. Starting to near our final ten laps. Here comes Bergman into the top spot. Seth Bergman with a huge run through turns three and four. Steals it away. As now the 1G of Gardner up on the high side. Going to go after Brad Loyette. What a battle at the front of the pack. It'll be 11 to go off four. And now Cody Gardner up into the second. No, make it third as the Boyette slams the door on him now with 11 to go. Brad Bowden sitting between the 23 of Seth Bergman and the 05 of Brad Loyette. Loyette having to get off the bottom of the racetrack. If he wants to build his momentum back up, he will do so. Garner, those right there, along with Gary Taylor. And here comes Johnny Herrera. Johnny Herrera has charged up into the top five, and he's looking for more. Where did Herrera come from? As now he'll go past Gardner into the four spot. Just like the days of Duke City Raceway, Johnny Herrera has got the right rear up against the concrete here as he works into turns one and two, but how about the battle for second? Seth Bergman has checked out a straightaway advantage. Brad Loyette in second. In the third spot, it is the one car of Gary Taylor, but now here comes Herrera. Johnny Herrera, he's got the battle for second in his sights. As it looks like we could have problems brewing in slower traffic. Everybody's going to clear themselves out. Brad Loyette still trying to hold on to second. He's got Gary Taylor, Johnny Herrera right there. Johnny Herrera all over the one X car of Gary Taylor as they battle. Meanwhile, Bergman with a full straightaway advantage and clear track in front of him. Seth Bergman right now sitting pretty as he's going to come to the final six laps of competition. Six laps remain, and Johnny Herrera and Gary Taylor are going to go at it. It is slide job city right now as Loyette shoots back to second. Gary Taylor in third, Herrera in the fourth spot. And back in fifth, it's Cody Gardner. As now Wayne Johnson, Wayne Johnson from the back of the pack into fifth. Wayne Johnson, though, stalling through the middle of turns three and four. That's going to allow the one G of Cody Gardner back around him. As we've got big problems in our turns three and four. And fire! We've got a fire! And Gary Wright, the number nine car, fire in that race car as he is working to get out of that race car. Over Out of the race car comes Gary Wright. Roll, roll, roll. Gary's methanol fire is a very scary situation because methanol burns clear to these drivers. Well, Gary Wright out walking around away from that car. Very thankful he was able to get out of there. That car went up in flames quick. As the attrition rate is high in this 50-lap feature event, we have 44 laps in the books. It'll be a six-lap dash to the finish. Set to go green this time off a of four. Seth Bergman back on the loud pedal. 44 down, six to go, and Bergman with a good jump on Loyette as he heads off into one and two. And Bergman, your leader, Loyette, three car links back in second. It's five car links back to Gary Taylor. Both drivers around the bottom through turns one and two. Both drivers take to the high side through turns three and four. Seth Bergman still in command. Johnny Herrera, though, trying to run down Gary Taylor and battle for third. Meanwhile, while they battle for third, Wayne Johnson soldiering through. He holds down the fifth spot. And in sixth, it's Terry Gray. Terry Gray up on the high side of the racetrack trying to run down Wayne Johnson. Now Johnson right up against that concrete as they exit turn number four. As they go back to the battle for third, Herrera down to the inside. Can't get the run on Gary Taylor. It's three to go off turn four. Three laps remain for your leader, Seth Bergman. Loyette in second, Gary Taylor in third, Herrera in fourth, Wayne Johnson in fifth. Down the back straightway, Seth Bergman's 23 up to the high side this time. He'll come to the twin flanks two more times around from his first ASCS National Tour victory. Can he hold on? Clear track in front of Bergman, a straightaway lead over Brad Loyette. While meanwhile, still a great battle for third. Gary Taylor's got it, Herrera wants it. White flag in there. White flag, your leader down the front straightway as we go back to the battle for third. Gary Taylor now with some breathing room between him and Johnny Herrera as they work down the back straightway though, this time into turn three. And a turn four, his first national tour win will be the Rock and Roll 50. It's Seth Bergman. Coming home in second, Brad Loyette. Then it'll be Gary Taylor, Johnny Herrera, Wayne Johnson in fifth. Terry Gray in sixth. Seventh will go to Jason Johnson. Eighth will go to Justin Carver. And ninth, it'll be Brady Bacon. Danny Wood rounds out your top ten. As he has made his way to the front straightway, ladies and gentlemen, his first national tour win at the Rock and Roll 50, Seth Bergman.
Man!